Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about working with green screen, but I thought it would be a good idea to actually first talk about shooting on the green screen. So a few tips uh, for you. First of all, make sure your screen is nicely lit, nice flat lighting on there. Uh, you don't want to have any wrinkles in it. If This is actually a cloth one. Uh, so you want to make sure you have no wrinkles. I actually bought a, a little a steamer to get wrinkles out. It's only like 15 bucks at Walmart. So another few things uh, to think about, a few tips, is to make sure that your characters, your actors, are not wearing anything green. Such as this shirt, which would be a problem. So it may seem obvious to you, but if you have actors that you're calling in from who knows where to come and work on your film or your short project, whatever it is, they may not realize that, or they may not even know they're going to be on green screen. So just make sure that you tell them, don't wear anything green. Another thing is any green props. So make sure none of your props are green, or even, you may even have like a gun that has like a blinking green light on it, that you may not even think about that at first. You gotta think about these little details. Now once you actually start filming, you have to make sure you don't want your actors too close to the background because these shadows will be very difficult to get rid of. Just keep them fairly far away, so the shadows are nice and soft. It's a lot easier to get rid of them that way. Another thing is anything like this, like uh, this is a light stand, anything like that that's in the shot, it's not really too bad. You can easily mask that out. You just don't want to, you know, or try to avoid having your characters or actors putting their hands or walking near it or in front of it because that'll make it a little bit more difficult. Um, so just have them avoid that. So that's it, just a few little tips. And so let's get on with the software side of things. So here we are in HitFilm Express. This is the latest version in 2018 at the time of this recording. And so we've got our clip here, that's just a little snippet from what I shot earlier. And I've already dragged it down onto the timeline. And I've got a clip for our background footage. It's from a little clip from Shibuya in Tokyo. Okay, so what we need to do is make this a composite shot. So we can just right click on here and make composite shot, or control M or what's even easier just to select the clip and press this button here. And so that's the same thing. I'll just leave the name the way it is. We don't really need one for this. For a more complicated project, you might want to give it a specific name. This one, it's okay. Okay, now we're in compositing mode. We've got our new tab here and we can expand this out. So if we want to give it a nice background, get rid of that green screen. We can come over to the effects section here and scroll down to keying. And we've got a couple of different options. Uh, the hue and RGB key is one. You can drag that on there. And obviously that's not right. That's because it's getting rid of the red. So you can just grab that eyedropper with your left mouse button and just drag it up to a green area probably something more close to the character and that does a pretty good job now we have this light stand here which I mentioned before we can easily get rid of we'll just click this pen tool and just drag around it and see now we've got it selected we want to select everything else so I'll just grab these points and bring them over. Oops, grab that one. <laughs> there we go. So we're just going to select everything except for the pole. Okay, now we can hide that mask, just click away from it. And so that basically does it. We can drag our media underneath, and now we've got our footage in the background. Now, so you can see it's not quite perfect, and what we can do to see that even better 
is open that green screen footage up again and come down here under that keying function to view matte and so now it shows just black and white everything black is going to be transparent everything white is what you're keeping so obviously around the hair and around some of these edges in here you can zoom in with the mouse wheel uh, it's kind of raggedy looking and so there's a few things you can do to smooth that out you can drag in another effect under this matte enhancement section we can add the matte cleaner and let's drag that under the hue and RGB key there we go so let's zoom in again and we can add a little bit of smooth to it and so that'll smooth it out a little bit you don't want to go too crazy or else you know the character becomes unrecognizable but just a little bit and you can feather it just a little bit just to make it a little bit softer make it blend in with the background a little bit more and you can see that's a little better but around the hair is still not quite perfect so here I'm dragging with the right mouse button and so yeah there's a few of these tools that you can use uh, aside from hue and RGB key let's delete that and we'll just turn off the mat cleaner for now we also have uh, under there we also have the color difference key you can drag that onto here and this one is doing a better job I think it's not quite perfect we can see some of the green coming through here so let's click view mat on that one and we can see the the problem areas here so we can adjust the minimum and maximum for that one we can get rid of some of that green and that's actually pretty good the max is set to one it's pretty good so let's look at it like this and that's not bad the way it looks there so here's one thing is you can see a little bit of the green is showing through on the shirt and it's hard to see in this one because I lit this pretty well but uh, sometimes the green might show up on the skin a little bit and so what we can do to get rid of that is to add a spill removal just drag that on I'll just bring it underneath and open it up and so it's set to green so what that's going to do is remove any uh, green from the original footage and you can adjust the strength of it usually pretty good just the way it is so yeah that's um, some basic stuff there it's still not quite perfect there you could still use this matte cleaner to maybe feather this or choke it in a little bit uh, but there's an easier way to do all this you don't have to spend your time adding all these different effects and figuring out what's gonna be best let's just remove all of these I guess you have to do it one at a time we'll just remove those all and then we can come all the way down to the bottom of the effects to presets and 2D effects and we have green screen key and you can just drag that onto there and it almost perfectly handles everything for you right off the bat even the hair looks pretty good uh, and then you still have these options that we were adding manually before except that now they're put in there uh, with some presets already set up and then you can go in and tweak them a little bit if you need to you know like I can come in and add a little bit more feather if I want it gets rid of a little bit of jaggies around the edges there 
But otherwise it looks pretty good just the way it is. And of course you will want to scrub through and make sure that nothing looks particularly weird. But it's pretty good the way it is. Of course this is just some random footage I put on here, but if you're going to be working on a scene yourself, uh, you really want it to match the background, then you want to work with the lighting a little bit and look at the lighting in your scene and make sure that your lighting on the main character matches the background lighting. But yeah, that's about it. So, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will try to answer as best as I can. And share this video with your friends, and I'll see you next time.